Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida, with your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we have a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow and the Dow Transports trading to the upside. The Dow's up 38. The Transports up 150. That's 1% to the upside. The S&P is off one-tenth percent, so basically flat off four points. The Nasdaq 100.7 tenths, or 104 points. The Russell is down one full percentage point. She's trading out at 2037. Gold's up 12 bucks. 1934 is a print there. Silver is down one penny, trading out at 25.18. And our 30 year treasury is trading out at 156.20. That's up four ticks. Let's go spend a little bit of time with our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini in your upper left hand panel. You'll see that price is really, we, we just have this, uh, you know, so if you take a look at it, the last four trading sessions, not including today, you have higher bottoms. Interesting. You kind of have higher highs intraday highs that is but really just trading sideways look the real resistance level it's up until that descending trend line area and that's in about the 40 let's see what is there say today that would be at about the 44 45 level spot volatility is trading above its 50-day exponential moving average always bearish from a, a directional signal for the s p 500 the es penny if we take a look at the nq price is trading into the descending trend line out there as well as the bottom of its profile so that's a strong resort but what is new that has popped up on the screen this morning is a new weekly profile that's attempting to form now this will not complete until well we won't have a a confirmation of this until tomorrow uh, sunday evening that is but right now we know that it's a bearish structured profile with resistance up at the 14.517 level. U.S. dollar index is breaking out above resistance. That's above its TD9 count. A close day above 97.44 will suggest that it will continue to move higher. Gold is tested and rejected the uh, top of its weekly profile. Old resistance becoming new support. That level is 1924. Silver running into resistance at the top of its weekly profile, as well as a descending trend line for its daily time frame. So it's got its work cut out for it about the $26 level. If we take a look at late speed crude, just a sideways move on its way up to 119, most likely. Now that's just an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Natural gas. Just continues to consolidate uh, with inside its daily profile with resistance of four dollars and ninety-two cents in the thirty-year treasury. It is attempting to form a new profile below price. It's typically a bullish message out there that could signal a move back to the one fifty-six twenty-six. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Set Show. We dropped your start for Thursday. Have a terrific.